we go, I got one. <laughs> Dude, like, what the fuck? I see your ass. What's going on, you guys? Splicer, and welcome back to another DOJ video. In this one, we are playing as a crazy-looking biker guy that I created. Um, the outfit and mask and helmet and everything just goes together so damn well. Uh, but basically, we're going to be doing... We're going to be causing some ruckus. Um, causing some mayhem in the uh, county. And, um, we're down here in the city clubhouse, and, uh, we got M4 on our back here, and then, uh, we've geared up here, we've also got double barrel and a heavy pistol, those we can kind of strap to our side here, um, but ba basically, um, uh, we ran into some issues with cops a while back, um, I didn't record it or anything, but, um, it, it, it's time to get some kind of revenge, I guess, if you will. Um, so, basically what the plan is, is to go up to Polito, uh, maybe do some kind of arson, um, on the police, on the, yeah, god, I cannot speak today, on the police station, maybe start a fire, <laughs> and, um, there's a, uh, a building with a cutout, uh, next to Cluck and Bell's, Cluck and Bell factory, you know, and there's a window, it's kind of like a little secret spot, and we could kind of perch up there, and uh, take some shots off on the responding officers. And uh, they shouldn't be able to tell where they're coming from. So um, our goal is to get away. Um, so here is our bike here. Look at this thing. Got this death looking bike here. Sun is starting to go down. So um, I mean, I guess it's okay because we want to do this while it's dark out anyway. So, but look at this thing. <laughs> It is amazing. Look at that fire. That is incredible. So this bike sounds amazing. So we're going to keep our weapons. We got them already, like I said, on our back there. Uh, we're going to make sure that they're visible. Really don't care. We want people to fear us. But listen to this bike. Let's just take a listen. hear how amazing that sounds it is such a nice bike I love it and it fits perfect too with the skull you know the skull and the red and the spiked looking wheels and stuff it fits this guy so well so this is Brock Ringer he likes to <laughs> ring some necks you know if, if you get what I mean usually with his bare hands but um, he's planning some kind of attack at this point so he's all geared up. We got some. We borrowed some weapons from our our homeboys there at the shop, or at the clubhouse. And we're gonna go out here to the county. Hopefully, we don't get pulled over with the red headlight before we get to where we're supposed to be going. But uh, we're just gonna take this all the way up to Polito, and uh, nightfall will be upon us soon. And we're just gonna cut right in front of you because we don't give a shit. And uh, we'll head up there. And I will show you what building that I am talking about. Okay, so we are still going. We're getting closer to Polito. This, is, this looks so cool. It's actually kind of just peaceful, you know, just riding a bike. Kind of, you know, just relax and do my own thing. But look at the, the stars. Got a nice starry night out. Got this menacing looking biker as well as the bike itself. Which is just absolutely incredible. Look at our high beams. <laughs> oh my, look at how deep red that looks. Yo, that's incredible. Okay, so we just came over here and got some gas because if you guys don't know, whenever I do priorities, I never think to get gas first. So, hashtag get gas. I did it this time. Also, we're going to need a jerry can to do arson. So, got ourselves a jerry can there. Strap it on there. And, um... Let's go ahead and fire this up and head on out of here. And the uh, the tower is going to be right over, just up here a little bit across the road. And we will be able to get set up. Oh, there's a cop there. That's interesting. He's checking out that car park there. Huh. 
Okay, so we parked our bike here. We're in the back area here. There's a ladder right here. However, get my flashlight. We need to... Dude, can you, like, equip your fucking flashlight? Um, we need to get over there. So... Can we drop that far? <laughs> or not. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know of any other way to get up here. So, I didn't see a ladder anywhere over here, so maybe I'm missing it, but whatever. But anyway, this is where we don't want to give away our position. But this is our uh, perching point where we can perch up. Actually, is there another level? There is. How do we get up on that top level? I have to figure out how to get into that top level. That's where we want to be. We want to be as high up as possible. Shit, I don't want to go this way because the cops are going to see me. Oh, ladder right here. <laughs> yeah, buddy. And then our bike is just parked a little bit down over there. Oh, yeah, look at this. However, there are more windows, so we got to be careful. And make sure that the cops can't do anything sneaky. Yeah. This is pretty good. So I wanted to originally light up the fire or the police station, but the police station is way down there. So we're not going to be able to draw attention over here, unfortunately, or at the police station. So we're going to have to start a fire somewhere else. Let me uh, get my binoculars out. Okay, so we could light this on fire, this abandoned place right here, but I feel like that's too close. We need to be at more distance, like make them go at further distance. That way uh, they don't know where the shots are coming from. So what if we did... What if we did that, like, tattoo shop or that whole little strip right there? It's still close, but it is also far... And I want to do this at nighttime, so it makes it even more difficult, you know? So maybe we could light up this uh, strip of shops right here. And that's how we can kind of kind of make it work, you know? Okay, guys. So I actually thought of something better. Um, it is daytime now, so we'll have to wait. Um, but what if I started a fire over there by that tarp and stuff? It'd make kind of more sense doing it over in that kind of construction area than doing it just in a normal business. So... Um, we could, uh, start the fire over there. Um, that way we have this whole wall right here. And then we also got the windows inside here if we want to do it from there. Um, and it's going to be dark out, so it, they're not going to be able to see where I'm at, hopefully. Um, but that way I have a better vantage point and, um, could make things a little bit difficult. So, there is active fire in the game, so like I said, we're just going to play the waiting game at this point. And wait till it's nighttime again. Kind of wait, kind of ran out of time, but uh, we got everything set up now, so we'll just wait it out and finish up our planning here. All right, guys, we made it over here. We have started pouring the gasoline. Hopefully, no cops fucking drive by as I'm doing this. Oh, and there's fucking it's raining out. Fuck it, I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> I did not wait that long for it to start raining, so it's not like pouring so it, it'll be fine all right guys we made it back it's starting to become darker out sounds like cops are, are already responding yep they're already responding let's see where they're at oh shit why oh he's right there blocking the road off okay okay yeah look at that fire dude it's so good <laughs> Look at the amount of smoke that thing has, dude. Okay, so it looks like that cop just took out that sign. Okay, he's going to go around the other side. 
We still got this one down here. The fire department should be on the way by now. I don't care about them. Uh, but it's becoming darker out. I think I'm going to pop a few shots off w over here against this wall. That way they cannot see at all where they're coming from. And then I'll go inside and shoot out the window. But I want to get a few off here initially to really freak them out. And um, that cop looks like he uh, hates his life over there. He's not getting paid enough for that shit. Okay, he's out of his car. I'm going to pop a shot off. <laughs> he stopped. He got down. He got down. He got down. I could easily fucking kill him right now. Oh, um, wait. What the hell did he do? Is he laying on the ground? Is he dead? What? Ha I didn't even shoot him. What the fuck? What is he doing? What the fuck? Is that an emote? <laughs> what is he doing? There we go. I got one. <laughs> I got one. I don't know what the fuck he was doing. Uh-oh, I think they might know now. <laughs> He's running back. <laughs> He's running across the alleyway. Oh, shit. I don't know what he was doing. He was, like, flopping around like a fish or something. I don't even, I've never even seen that before. It was not, like, the F9 thing. I, it wasn't even that. I don't know what he was doing. <laughs> but now he's, like... He's all sprawled out on the pavement. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't think they know where the shot came from. I think he just hightailed it to the fucking alleyway. I don't want them to know where I'm at, obviously. So I'm going to hold off my shot. <laughs> Look at him just running across the road. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, I want to get that one that's aiming at my building, dude. I want to get his ass so bad. I think they know it's in this general area, but they don't know. Yeah, he's aiming at other buildings. He doesn't know if it's this one or the other one. I want to try to get one more and then dip out. If I can get that trooper that keeps aiming, if I can take him out and then dip out, oh, that would be incredible. I don't know if I can do it, though. We got to we got, got to see if I can do it here. Oh, I can get him. I can oh, dead! He found me. Damn it. How did he see me? God damn it. No. Okay, so I confirmed with the officer it, it was a chest shot. So we're hit, but we're not dead. So we need to try to limp out of here if we can. Ugh. Fuck. Uh, uh. So we're hurting. So we got to be careful. There's like no realistic way to get down. Uh, all right. I think we're starting to get out of here. Fuck. Oh shit, there's a cop here. Oh shit. <laughs> Oh, shit. Get off the bike. Get off the bike. Get Move off out the, bike, the way. Get off the bike. Move Get out the, bike. the way. Get off the bike. Move out Just the way. Get off the bike for me, man. Just get off the bike for me, man. Just get off the bike, man. Get off the bike. We can talk about this. Just get off the bike. Get off the bike. Get off the bike, There's man. There's nothing to talk about. Just 
Just get off the bike, man. We can forget. Oh, got him. <laughs> we got him. <laughs> we gotta get the fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> Uh, we are hurting. Whether we had armor or not, we did get shot in the chest. But we can still get out of here. Oh, I think there's an air unit. Uh, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta hurry up and get back to the shop and patch this up. Oh, he he knew he knew. I even put in text chat unstraps and everything, and he's. I got him right before he he shot at me, so we gotta hurry up and get back to the bike shop and patch it up. Um, like I said, we do have some armor, or you know we do have some hefty thick vest here, so we're definitely RPing that we got hurt, but um. We clarified with the officer and stuff that it wouldn't have killed me, so... I don't think we're gonna lose them. I think we're gonna have to do a final showdown. Have an ultimate showdown in this Lost MC... Um... Yard over here. I think we're gonna have to... Do an ultimate showdown over here. I think that's what's gonna have to happen. <laughs> we gotta find, uh, there's an open interior over here, I think, right? Is it that one? I think it's this one. Uh, uh, there we go. We're inside. We're inside. Uh. There, there's so many windows, though. They're going to be able to kill me without a fucking care in the world. <laughs> oh, they're putting fucking tear gas and shit? Yeah, they're trying to fucking tear gas me and shit. I got a mask on. I see him over by the bus over here. They're being sneaky. I see him by the bus. I know what they're going to try and do. Yep. I see you over there. I see you, dude. Like, what the fuck? I see your ass. I fucking see him. I'm going to go for it. Oh, dead! They got me! <laughs> I had to have hit him, though. I had to have hit him. There's no way I didn't hit him. <laughs> I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna go for it. I saw his fucking head over there. I don't know how I didn't hit him. Anybody inside the caravan, make yourself known. Well, I would, I'm but I'm, you on your left. I'm dead. I can't Strategic believe I didn't. Anybody inside the building, I can't believe I didn't hit him. I knew he was. He had a good shot on me. Jeez. I saw him by the window. I got one. I got one. Yeah, here they, they come. The other side got this. Well, I killed two, but there is no getting out of that with the helicopter and everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed Just that me. episode, and uh, <laughs> it didn't quite work out how I wanted it to. But I mean, it is what it is. Oh my got, god. Got oh guys, let's get med kit. Got an invisible gun. <laughs> but anyway, if you guys enjoyed this one, leave a I like, drop a comment down shot. below, and I'll see you all in the next one. Splice her out, take care. <sighs> that cop is like. Good it's job, over. guys. Very good job. <laughs>
That sneaky guy by the palm tree over there. <laughs> Damn it. Priorities over, time is starting. Damn. That's how he fucking killed me. So okay, so real quick, that's how he fucking killed me so quick. Look at that fucking, like, next level shit right there. Ultra fu rich, fu futuristic sniper. Like, <laughs> what is that? But, uh, yeah, he got me. I knew he was up there. I tried to get a few shots off him. But it is what it is. That was small. And the next one. Take it.